Hello, third grade fossil hunters. I hope you liked the book about fossils and learned a lot. Um, now I'm going to share with you some pictures of fossils. If we were at Pinewood, I actually have some fossils I would be able to pass around and let you guys touch and hold. But since we're not at school, I'm going to show you some pictures and we'll play a little guessing game. So here is a picture of a fossil. So what fossil do you think you are seeing here in this picture? If you guessed a plant fossil, you're right. It's actually called a fern, and you can see the stem and the leaves here. And so this is a fossil of a fern. All right, what fossil do you think you see here? If you're guessing seashells, you are correct. This is the bottom part of a seashell. And then here you can see the scallop top of the seashell. There's a bunch of shells in this fossil. All right. This one's kind of an easy one, but I included this picture because of where it was found, just like in the video we watched on last week. So these, you probably guessed, are shells, and this was actually found in the desert. Even though the fossil evidence shows this desert was once an ocean. Any guesses? All right, I'm guessing a lot of you said a giant spider, and it actually tricked a lot of people, this fossil did, but it was really what is called a crayfish, not a giant spider. This is a really ancient fossil. I don't have one of these at school, but this is pretty cool. And if you guessed dragonfly, you are correct. Okay, I'm thinking that you guys probably knew these were teeth. These are actually teeth from a Neanderthal male, and scientists were able to learn things about him because of these teeth. Because they're flat, they learned that he was a vegetarian and only ate vegetables. They also learned that he didn't take very good care of his teeth. All right, this looks pretty big. This is actually the tail from a sauropod dinosaur found in the Saharan Desert in Niger. So pretty cool to see all those bones there as a fossil. All right, this picture shows a fossil preparer who works for a museum. And if you look really closely at the picture here in his hand, he's actually using a paintbrush to brush off the sand. And there is a fossil bone underneath here, you can see. Other people are working here, too. This takes hours and hours and days and weeks, long, long time to carefully brush away the sand. It takes a long time and a lot of patience. And here's another picture. This scientist is getting a uh, sauropod bone um, from the Saharan Desert, and he's packaging it up so that they can move it because the fossils are really fragile. And so he's covering it in plaster and um, burlap so he can move it without breaking it. And then here's a picture from a museum, and you can see in this glass case, these are actual fossilized parts from a dinosaur bones. Um, these bigger dinosaurs, that wouldn't really actually be a fossil. It would be a model that they built out of fossil bones um, because this is out in the open, and this is where they'd be carefully preserved in this glass case. Okay, on... Wednesday, I have another cool fossil activity for you, but if you're looking for something else to do, today's lesson is done, but I found this really fun website, How to Draw Dinosaurs, so if you want to do some more science today, um, I actually drew my dinosaur, the Stegosaurus drawing, um, from this video right here, How to Draw Stegosaurus. So you can go on this video and practice drawing any of these dinosaurs if you would like to. Um, you just click on the link that's below this video for different drawing lessons on how to draw different dinosaurs. And I will see you back here on Wednesday for another fossil lesson. Have fun and stay curious.